YouTube, what is good? Vinny Matthews here. Thanks for checking out the channel. Lock a gang where you at? Lock a gang, lock a gang. And this is another episode of Damn Dim Dreadlocks. Let's get into it. If you guys weren't aware, it is May 4th, 2022. Stop the video. May the 4th be with you. I just had to say that, man. I'm a huge Star Wars fan. Can I get some pew, pew, pew in the background? Yes, sir. But it is May 4th. Like I said, 2022. And guess what? We are still experiencing racism. Now, I know you may be asking yourself, Vinny, what does racism have to do with dreadlocks? But boy, oh boy, I'm about to teach you guys some things right today. Now, shout out to Charlemagne the God. He actually made a video for the donkey of the day from the Breakfast Club. But I had to give my own two cents because, you know, <laughs> Charlemagne the God is bald. But I do appreciate the awareness because, you know, Charlemagne is for the people. He is of the people. He is for the culture. I love Charlemagne the God. So if I had to induct a bald headed man into the locker gang community, it would be this guy right here. Now, there's a high school in Texas called East Bernard High who clearly discriminates any young man with hair, okay? They want no braids, they want no dreadlocks, no high top locks, they want no type of length when it comes to hair. They don't want no hair passing your ears, man. Now, come on now. If that's not racism, I don't know what it is, okay? Because they clearly know what they're doing. They know most young black men love to grow up their natural hair, okay? And that's one way they can stop black boys attending their school is by stopping them from letting them grow their natural hair. Now, I get it. I get it. You know, you have your dress code and you have your policies when it comes to, you know, what you want to do as far as your organization or as far as your business. I totally get that. But I want to challenge the school as in what does somebody's hair has to do with anything about their academics I, I i really want to know but before i actually get to my personal opinion about this let me play a clip of the video of the young man who's been accused of this derry williams says his hair gives him pride without my hair i wouldn't be the person that i am today the 17 year old wants to be a veterinarian runs track two and hopes for a scholarship but he fears that won't happen it's like 10 times harder for colleges to notice me because I'm not in school. He's homeschooled, has been since his family moved to East Bernard from Ohio in February. Mom Desiree Bullock says she tried to enroll him in East Bernard High School before the move, but when she was given the dress code, she learned the boys cannot have hair past their ears. And I explained to her that my son had um, locks in his hair. And she was like, oh, well, he's going to have to cut those. She says a school guidance counselor told her so. East Bernard ISD student handbook outlines its dress code and hair policy, which also forbids, quote, braided hair or twisted rose strands. Bullock says she eventually reached the superintendent in hopes of getting a religious exemption. She got back with me and she said, your religious exemption form will not be granted. It could not be granted at this time. Here is a copy of the exemption form Bullock says she filled out. In a statement to KPRC2, East Bernard superintendent of schools said in part, quote, East Bernard ISD has not denied enrollment to the individual involved in this situation as no enrollment or registration documents have been filed. But Bullock says she didn't enroll him because of the policy. It's not right. Now this is why I fully support the Crown Act, okay? Now the Crown Act is to create a respectful and open world for natural hair. It was created in 2019 to ensure protection against discrimination like East Bernard High School is clearly doing right here. This is clearly their way of saying, you know what? We do not want you and we don't care how brilliant or how smart you are. We're going to do things our way and you can either do what we say and conform to us or you can kick rocks. Fellas, this is why we need to be in a position of power, okay? This is why we need to make our own schools, okay? This is why we need to build our communities so we won't have to deal with bullshit like this anymore, okay? 
I'm not with it at all, okay? What does hair have to do with anything when it comes to your studies? What does hair have to do with anything when it comes to your performance? This is clearly systemic racism, and that's why I encourage all you guys out there to definitely support the Crown Act because if you gotta, if you want change, you gotta force change and you gotta make sure that they hear you. And that's why there are channels like mine to help bring the awareness of dreadlocks for my gang. To wrap up this video, I wanted to end it by a quote from Malcolm X. And he says, you can't separate peace from freedom because no one can be at peace unless he has his freedom. And to my gang, I just wanna add to that, Yo, we should be at peace when it comes to our hair. No matter if it's free from locks, two strand twists, braids, we should be at peace no matter how we rock our hair. With all that being said, guys, let me know in the comment box what you guys think. Do you like this type of video? Hit the like button for your boy. And until the next video, my name is Benny Matthews. Lock a gang. I am out.